Alright, what's up guys, Twisty GFX here with another new video, I'll be trying my best to upload two or three a day, so on this video we'll basically be learning how to make a thumbnail. The thumbnail is what that little image is when you look up a video, say if you look up a Call of Duty Black Ops video and you guys see that little image before you see the video, that's basically what it is, or when some people try to trick you to watch a video and they put a naked chick on the front of it, and basically you think there's going to be a naked chick in the video, but there really isn't. Go ahead and go to File, New. Your width is going to be around 800 pixels. Your height want to be 500 pixels. Background and concept is transparent. So for this video, I guess we'll be making the same thumbnail I made in that other picture. Use a nice little orange right there. Hit Alt and Backspace. Double click your layer and name it Background. You don't have to, but I like to label my stuff. Double click the layer you just made and call it Circle. This is the part we're going to be making this little nice... A little effect we have there. So basically, you want to take your uh, eclipse tool. You're gonna want to make it white and draw a decent sized circle like that, and hold the space bar <clears throat> until in order to move it around. And if it turns orange, it means you have your swatches all messed up. So basically, your my style is linked for some reason. You want the color to be white, and you want to make sure it's on that little box with the X through it. If it already isn't, or a little line through it, and then redraw your circle like that just place it there go ahead and hit control T on the on the circle layer basically gonna do the same thing so now you got this is the part where you gotta mess around for a few minutes I'll try to make it as fast as I can without extending the time of this video so basically we're gonna keep messing around with your circle it will get annoying eventually because it takes a while to get it just right and some people have ADHD and they can't stand to look at something that's not done exactly as it's shown I don't have ADHD but I feel like I do because if it's not right then I don't like it so we're gonna go ahead and move this up a little bit more I wanted it to look something a little like that basically you can either use an overlay which won't really work right now so click your circle layer and turn your opacity to around 25 that's a little too rounded, so we're probably going to have to hit Control t again and try to make it less rounded. I don't like the roundness on this. It's just way too circleish. Keep messing with it until you get it the way you like it. And you can also use your object tool and basically like that. I'll stick to that for now just for the sake of the uh, time being on this video. So that's our circle and that's our nice little swatch. So basically you can um, go ahead and make a new layer and this is the part we're going to make this nice little black dimness around this. Around this. So basically you can just do what I do and make the layer black on top of it like that. Press control, I mean hold alt and then press backspace. Not sure what it is for max. I never used one. Go to your eraser tool. Make sure your hardness is on zero and then put your size to around a thousand. And use your first brush right there. It comes in every Photoshop. And then basically what you want to do is just want to erase it like that. You can do it twice to do it like that, but I typically like it dimmed like that. So that basically gives it that dimness we have right here in this video. It's the background's not as dim as we'd like it to be. But that's fine for now. So basically we have that feeling to it. Now we're going to add our text onto the layers. So basically go above that layer. And we're going to name this one Tutorial. You can use any font you want. It's all up to you guys. Make your font white. I guess I'll use either. Let's find a nice little font to use. Like this one. I will use Blue Highway. Turn my font size up to 250 put this right there and go ahead you can use whatever layer style you want I'll do it on video just so you guys have a general idea of what you want to do go ahead and add a drop shadow under there make sure the distance is on 3 the opacity is around 50 to 51 and basically you want to mess with all your other stuff you can do whatever you guys want you guys are the ones who will be using this if you guys like to or this may give you an idea Go to your gradient overlay, and basically you want to make it a little around 23, or you can use whatever overlay you want. 
it's really up to you guys you guys can use whatever makes you guys happy so basically I'll use that at 23 and if you guys want to use a color overlay go ahead and choose something whatever you guys want so whatever you guys want you can make it nice and golden which really is invisible but the key to making a uh, thumbnail is to make it stand out so people will notice that I wouldn't really use a stroke but if you guys want to use a stroke put the size on one and the opacity to around 25 that basically gives it that feeling but to be honest with you guys I like the um, layer style that I have in my uh, tutorial thingy right there so basically it's more metallic and it makes it look like that and as once again if you guys want to make this background look a little bit brighter you can do that it's all up to you guys I'll just make it both colors so I'll just use that lighter looking color and basically if you guys want to add the little line that I have going under here under where it says animated band we're gonna go ahead and add that go to your you can either do this one way you can either do it with your rectangular tool and go like that really thin at a really thin line basically just grab it and just put it under there and you got that nice little shape to it I typically like to use the pencil but for sake of the video let's go ahead and use that you can use whatever color you want if you already have a layer style and you want to use it on there go ahead and right click your text layer that says tutorial copy your layer style and then paste it right under there for you guys I like get rid of the drop shadow on that so just click the little eyeball right next to the drop shadow and you guys want to make it look like it's faded away go ahead and go to your filter blur and then go to your motion blur and basically it'll give it that nice little effect to it to make it look like it's faded out a little bit and sometimes whenever your uh, gradient overlay doesn't mix right it'll make the endings a little you know too dark you can either lighten it up or you can remove the stroke that that will do it the stroke will so remove the stroke on the um, underline double click your layer where it says shape and make it say underline it's always better to be more organized so you can always make your text reflect go ahead and hit control J on your tutorial text layer and it'll give you two layers so basically you want to go to your edit transform and flip vertical and drag it directly under it so it gives it that little upside down visual like visual go ahead and go to your you can use whatever um, type of layer style you like I typically just go with the soft light go to your opacity and turn that down to around 33 or 35 so it'll give it that nice little feeling to it and if you guys want to mess around with your blending options on the reflection layer you can so make it look however you guys want I typically use an inner shadow just to make it look more indented into the background like that if you want to use a color overlay to make it look darker go ahead and select a nice brownish color it depends on what color you're using and you can basically indent it in the back like that so that's how you guys make your own thumbnail I'm not gonna go too into depth because the video length is already getting kinda long so you can either just you can place it differently like I did or you can just basically put it however you guys like it you can use whatever color you guys want it's all up to you so I hope you guys enjoyed this video on how to make a thumbnail this is twisty GFX this is my second video today uploaded as I said I'm gonna try to go for three videos a day Go ahead and show this to your friends, like it, and look at the um, description under the video. If you guys want a tutorial made just for you, I'll tag you in the uh, description and put it in your YouTube channel saying you're the requester of the video. And I will upload it, and you can feel free to follow the tutorial. I'll make whatever you guys want me to make. Go ahead and drop a like and a subscribe, and it's much appreciated. This is Twisty GFX. I'm out.